Yo traders, welcome back. So this lesson is just going to be about TradingView, literally. If you don't know what TradingView is, uh, let me just quickly break it down for you. TradingView is like a trader's toolbox. Every single thing that I mark up my charts with, how I decide whether I'm going to buy or sell, is all happening on TradingView. So like you can use the basic version of TradingView. It's plenty and it's perfect. You can use that. But if you want to get more technical and stuff, you can upgrade your package. It's literally like in the UK, it's like 17, 18 pound a month. Well worth buying, right? Because <clears throat> in my opinion, it's just, listen, it's the shit anyway. I, I don't even think anybody in the world who's a serious trader doesn't use TradingView, right? Um, maybe a couple of the really old rich people who just use MetaTrader 4 and 5 on the desktop still, which is fucking disgusting. I hate that. I hate MetaTrader 5 on the desktop, all right? And I'm going to get into what those things are. You probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. But look, let's get into TradingView. So I'm not going to go on the internet and uh, show you how to download TradingView, yeah? You just go on Google and type in TradingView and uh, you download it. But I got the desktop version I advise you to get because I just like it at my desktop. You can use it on uh, the web though. So this is what trading view is going to look like. Don't worry about the pairs on the side. This is literally what it's going to look like. Probably going to put you on uh, something like SPX or some shit, right? But anyway, this is trading view straight off the bat. Um, I'm just going to literally get rid of all my tools out of my box just to redo it for you. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right. So literally, you, you come on trading view and you get... You come on trading view and you get nothing. You get no... No toolbox setup or anything. This is what it's going to look like. So this is literally blank, plain trading view, okay? So um, the first thing I like to do on trading view, right, is come on here because this is what it's going to look like as well. You're going to have um, the watermark there. So it's going to have this writing in the middle of the screen. We don't want that. I mean, if you do, you do. But I don't. So I take it off. Boom. Now, uh, this is where you can, like, change your colors and stuff, you know, Choose what color scheme you want, etc. If you want to take the lines off the canvas just to make it look cleaner for you. So I'm going to cut to the chase. Yeah, I, mean, I use Mamba's theme and um, I've already got it saved. So the Mamba effect style theme, this is me. This is what I'm comfortable with. I love it. So this is my settings. Um, just, just for all of you lot, I'm going to let you see exactly what it is if you want to see. So I got my blue set to this blue for all three. And I got my purple set to this purple for all three. My my canvas, I got gradient. I just keep it gradient. Um, grid lines, none. Watermark, none. It's all gone, right? That that is literally my settings. Now I'm gonna get go up here and I'm gonna choose a trend line. I'm gonna choose a ray. I, I use it very rarely, but I'll choose it anyway. I want a horizontal line, a horizontal ray, a vertical line. Right, that's why I want. I want a Fibonacci. You're going to want a Fib too. Um, so just put it there. Long, short. Now, I, I do some teaching and stuff, so as you can tell. So I'm, I'm going to obviously choose the shit that I need. You don't need all of these, though. I mean, the rectangle, yeah, for support and resistance, definitely. And uh, yeah, that's my toolbox. So now, instead of going to the side and looking every time, I can just come up here and grab my lines. I don't know why that's set to red. So I can grab my lines for when I'm doing like breakout lines. I got my my box for when I'm doing support and resistance. And um, you know, change the colors of that as well. Make it purple, whatever. So that that's basically the the baby steps of trading view. Now you go up here on the right, and my face is probably in the way, to be honest. I know my face is gonna be in the way. Right, let me just move my big head over there so now you're going to want to go to the watch list and you're going to want to choose what you want to trade right so i got forex there indices and gold there and uh crypto there now i'm going to tell you that uh, i should have done this in less than one i'm going to do it now forex is currency pairs all right so foreign exchange that's what fx forex stands for foreign exchange so we're just trading currency pairs like gbp usd GBP JPY, which is the Great British Pound versus the Japanese Yen, Euro USD, and so on. Just currency pairs. So basically, the, no, the most traded things in the world, when you hear people say, I trade Forex, is foreign exchange currency pairs. Then you've got indices, which is like NAS 100, US 30. Uh, NAS 100, for example, is 
the top 100 tech companies, tech tech stock companies in America, all crammed into one place so we can just trade a hundred of them all at once. All right. So NAS 100 is a lovely thing to trade. It's very volatile. I trade it. And then you've got gold, your precious metal. And um, gold is, how do I say, a safe haven. So when everything goes to shit, gold something people usually like to invest in or, or keep trading because it, it trends beautifully, right? Gold. Gold is one of them pairs. Think about how long gold has been around. Gold has been around for thousands of years and it's never lost value. It's still solid. It, it still rises, all right? So that's why people... People with a lot of money, like a safe full of gold bars, diamonds, right? You know what I mean? Like they buy gold Rolexes. It's not always to look good. It's actually an investment because they know gold is one of them things that just carry on going up in price and there's a safe haven. So that's the difference between Forex, indices and gold. And we're going to be trading them all on my course anyway. I'm going to show you how to trade them all. So let's go back to the chart. Now, uh, yeah, like I said, I've got my Forex pairs. I like uh, GBPUSD and G GBP JPY for um, London session. Then I got my indices and my gold, which I trade during a uh, New York session. Actually, I trade gold during London session as well and the New York crossover, but we'll get deeper into that, right? Don't worry about it. I ain't even covering sessions on this video. This is just trading view. So go there and get your watch list and um, choose what you want, all right? But let me make one thing clear. When I show you how to get a broker in a bit and hook your broker up to TradingView so you can trade directly from TradingView with your broker, mine's Fusion Markets, then um, you're going to want to make sure that when you're choosing these the, the pairs that you're going to trade, you're choosing them f with your broker. So, like, look, you've got FXCM, Capital.com, Oanda, Capital.com, Oanda. There's no point choosing these pairs if you're going to be trading with a broker on uh, TradingView. You want to tr choose the actual one, like, look, all sources. I'm going to just click Fusion Markets, wherever that is. So Fusion Markets, now it's going to filter out all the pairs, but for my broker. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to add GBPUSD, I'm going to add uh, USDJPY, and they're all going to be directly from my broker. So when I press buy or sell now, so when I uh, go down there and I connect my broker and I press buy or sell up there in the left top corner, then my, my position is going to be opened with my broker and blah, de, blah, de, blah, right? So, um, yeah, this is pretty much trading view. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know m what much more to say about trading view apart from this is just, Something that you're going to need, basic version or not, it doesn't matter. Start with a basic version. Don't spend money on something you don't really know about. And yeah, this is a trading view. So just download it, get it. Then we can move on to the next lesson, all right?